Okay, so we're going to test this specimen. This is a low carbon steel specimen. Uh, you're going to have your students do a couple things with it. You need to measure the diameter. So find your calipers. Uh, you're going to have to turn it on. And it's this is in inches. And you'll measure the diameter. So it's about 2.259, 2.26 inches. And you can take a couple measurements to see what the variation is along the, the distance. This is a half an inch in the grips. Give yourself some room to work with. And this part can be a little bit tricky. And the reason why that is, is this grip is almost fully open when it is able to fit this half inch specimen. It's a little slide in and out real easy. Now you want to tighten it up. Don't over tighten it, it's easy to break these handles. Okay, you want just a nice firm grip. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the top is open make this travel both ways so you can see which way is opening and closing the grip. When it's closing you'll see that this top plate is contacting the surface of this wedge. Okay. When it's all the way open it'll be the opposite. I've seen some people force it open, open, open and then they break the handle. Okay, okay So that's fully open so we can bring it down onto the specimen. If everything's lined up, there shouldn't be any issue. You want it to bite about equally on both sides so that almost all of the, the large diameters inside the grip. Now we're going to tighten it, and again, watch the way that it tightens. Okay. So now that's tight. Yes. Okay. It feels like that. So now when we tighten this up, we'll actually induce a mechanical preload in the specimen that will not be measured by the extensometer. We'll get strain in here. It's not going to be measured by the extensometer but we have a, a strain correction procedure for that. <clears throat> the next thing we want to do is we want to attach our extensometer. So here's our extensometer cable. You notice it's not plugged in. There is a port on the side of the testing machine for the extensometer cable. And it's a TEDS cable so it's got this adapter on it. Here. And here's our extensometer. There should be a, a cable and an extensometer for each testing machine. These extensometers are fairly expensive. They're on the order of uh, two to three thousand dollars a piece. So we want to be really careful with them, try not to let the students drop them or anything. Okay. We're going to take, we're going to plug it in. On the on this surface there are slots and on this thing there are like bumps so we need to make them made up in the right way. So we get it in the right spot it should just slide right in and then this twists and locks. This particular extensometer doesn't have a pin. Some extensometers have a zero pin, so we don't have to worry about that. But what you want to do is when you close this all the way, that's one inch. There's indentations on this. And let me see if I can zoom in on it a little bit. Okay, we want this middle point to be on the other side of the specimen from the from the blades. Okay, I've seen people hook it up wrong and I'll show you how it, it looks like when it's hooked up wrong. We want this middle point, not this one over here and not that one over there, but the middle point uh, gets lined up with the specimen. So pinch it closed. 
these quick attach clips. Come around here. And you want to make sure the extensometer is kind of in the middle of the specimen, mm -hmm. that the it's not tilted. And straight up and down. And what you should do, uh, the blade should also be in the middle. Okay, so I, and, and we have a marker. We're going to mark the position of the blades, and that'll be one inch. The students are going to measure the elongation based on these marks after the test. Let me show you a, a bad extensometer setup. So this is good. The blade's in the middle of the specimen and the, the indent is in the right spot. But sometimes I'll see something like this. Okay, that would be an example of what you don't want to do. You don't want it to be wrapped around like that. 